In this video, we will relate multiplication and division with factors up to 12. All right, so we are going to be using fact families. So fact families means that we're going to have multiplication and division. So two times three equals six, then six divided by three equals what? Okay, so the key here is to remember that division is basically the opposite or the inverse of multiplication. So if two times three equals six, then six divided by three has to equal two. Okay, because that's our fact family. So we're going to go ahead and put two there. All right, so if one times three equals three, then what divided by three equals one? Okay, so we could go, we could simply go backwards too. So any time to figure out this number, we could start over here. We could say, well, we know that multiplication is the opposite of division. So we could say one times three equals this number, which would be three. Another hint is to remember any time you divide a number by itself, your answer is going to be one. So three divided by three is one. Five million divided by five million is one. Any number that you divide by itself is one. So if two times three equals six, then six divided by what equals three? So I'm going to ask myself, what would I multiply three by to get to six? And I know that that answer is two, because three times two equals six. So therefore, six divided by two equals three. 6 divided by 3 equals 2, then 2 times what would equal 6? Okay, so again, over here we did division, and this is asking us to multiply. So what we could do is go back to this dividing. So we know that 6 divided by 3 equals 2, so if we're going backwards, we would say 6 divided by three equals two, so therefore two times three equals six. If nine divided by three equals three, then three times what equals nine? Okay, so again, let's look up here. Our fact family is three, three, and nine. Nine divided by three equals three, so that means three times three equals nine. If three divided by three equals one, then one times what equals three? So anytime you multiply a number by one, it's going to be itself. So if your answer is three and you're multiplying by one, you have to be multiplying three by one. All right. If six times two is 12, then let's look at our choices. So what are some that we can knock out right away? I see that this one is addition. We're not working with addition here. We're working with multiplication and division. So addition and subtraction, we can scratch right away. We're not talking about that. So we know that this answer and this answer is not right. Okay, so then we could look at this one. Six divided by two equals 12. Well, if we're dividing, then our answer is not going to be bigger than the number that we start with. So six divided by two is not 12. So that's not our answer. On the other hand, 12 divided by two, is that six? Let's see. Well, six times two equals 12. So that would have to mean that 12 divided by two equals six. Let's try some harder ones. All right. If three times three equals nine, then what number divided by three equals three? So division is the opposite of multiplication. So let's work backwards. Three times three equals nine. If five times five is 25, then what divided by five equals five? Well, we know five times five equals 25. So our answer has to be 25. 
If four times five equals 20, then 20 divided by what number equals five? So the question that I ask myself is, what times five, what would I multiply five by to get to 20? And that answer is five times four equals 20. So that means 20 divided by four has to equal five. If five times three equals 15, then 15 divided by what equals three? Well, what would I multiply three by to get to 15? Three times five equals 15. So 15 divided by five equals three. All right, let's try some level three. If nine times five equals 45, then what divided by five equals nine? So since we're dividing, and since the problem is asking us to divide and we need to figure out what to divide by, we're going to do the opposite and we're going to multiply. So nine times five equals 45. So therefore, 45 divided by five has to equal nine. If two times six equals 12, then what divided by six equals two? Let's work backwards. Two times six equals 12. So 12 divided by six equals two. It's making it easy for us, giving us some repeats here. So if six times two equals 12, then what divided by six equals two? Well. We know two times six equals 12. So that means 12 divided by six equals two. If five times six equals 30, then 30 divided by what equals six? Well, what would I multiply six by to get to 30? I know six times five is 30. So 30 divided by 5 is 6.